everybody, it's Wendy. Oh, I am so excited to show this to you today. So you know how when you have those creative moments where you're just like soaring and you feel like a total genius because you figured something out or you came up with something? This is one of those moments for me. I am so excited. So um, if you saw my blog on Saturday, you saw that I did a I did a video showing you one of the cute little miniature coffee cups. Well, you can order those coffee cups online. The link to how to order them is on my blog today, and it was on my blog on Saturday. And so um, I've been having so much fun creating with those and just doing fun things because they're so cute. I just can't stand it. So I made this, which you've already seen on my blog, right? You've already seen the photos. If you follow my blog, you've seen them. Let me zoom out a little bit. So this is like a little coffee cup holder thingy made bob. So I can't completely take credit for this design because um, I saw it on some coffee website in the United Kingdom. And it was like their coffee cup holder for that store and it was made out of like craft paper or something so it wasn't it was like an industrial product they ordered it somewhere so I thought hmm how can I make that for my cute little cuppy cups so it almost looks like like legs huh do 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 that gives me all kinds of other ideas so anyway the sentiment coffee 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 comes from Gilmore Girls I don't know if you're a Gilmore Girl fan if you've never watched Gilmore Girls, it's on Netflix, and you can watch it there. I love Gilmore Girls. So this is something Lorelai says, coffee, coffee, coffee. And um, so, yeah, so here we go. We're going to open it up. Oops, I have a little glue dot there. And then you have the little coffee cups on the inside. And my idea, which I don't have it in here, is to fill these with coffee candies. You know those little coffee candies you can buy and they're individually wrapped? So how cute would it be to fill these with coffee candies and give it to a friend or a coworker or something like that? Or you could even use it for a party. Um, I think it would be super fun and cute. So I'm gonna show you how to make it, okay? Here's the deal. This is just from the oval framelits. I cut it from the oval framelits, and these were these letters are from Lawn Fawn, and it's um I'll, the link is on my website. But they make these really cool letters that go together, and they're little uh, rectangles, and so they fit together really nice. So you can type out or write out any word. So you can check out that stamp set um over on my blog. So that's what I did with this. All right, and then I have a six by 12 sheet of, why well, I forget what this paper is called. This is what it looks like on the other side. I'm drawing a blank. Flashback, that's what it's called, flashback. So it's super cute paper, I love it. All right, so what we're gonna do is, first we're gonna pull the corners together and I'm gonna corner round and I'm using my corner chopper by We Are Memory Keepers and I just, love this corner chomper because it can chomp through like chipboard or really large um, stacks of paper things like that all right then I have my two and a half inch circle punch and what I'm gonna do put it this way is I'm gonna fold this paper but I'm not creasing it obviously as you can see and then I'm gonna push it up so that it's flat. See like how it's kind of like bowed flat. And then I'm gonna slide it into the punch. So all while holding it together at the top. And then you can kind of shimmy it around to see where you want to punch. There, then let it go and just let your punch come out. All right, so we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm holding it together. I'm gonna flatten it out. And I'm gonna kind of gently pull it into the punch. And then you just gotta kind of look inside like that to see if you're lining up with the other circle and if you're about in the center. And then you let go, whoops, it's okay. And you can kind of line like this top of the circle up with this top of the circle, okay? And punch. So there we have it. There we have our two punched out holes. 
Then we're just going to go right back to the top again, folding it back to the top, not creasing it. We don't want to crease it at any point in time. Slide this down and punch out your two ovals. And then I'm going to use my dimensionals. And that's all she wrote, folks. Then you just stick your cute little cups in there like that, fold it up to the top, and you're ready to go. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. And I don't know if you know about this, but you can join Stampin' Up, purchase the Stampin' Up starter kit right now for just $99. You get $125 in product plus two free celebration items or your choice of a kit from the Occasions catalog. So if you're interested in joining my team, I would love to have you. We do not bite and we do not make you sell stuff. You can just get the discount and be a hobby demonstrator. It's super fun. So if you're interested, check it out. It's on my blog under why join us. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Bye-bye.